what you're about to hear is part of the Podgods Network. If you have a problem with anything you hear, please write it in an email and go fuck yourself. Enjoy the show! This is Salty Language, episode 123. I am Brian, coming to you from Shameless Plug North. Um, over still in the quarantine of Tony of uh, Tony Co's lab. Tony. Yeah, the AIDS is almost cleared out here. We're almost good. <laughs> and coming to us from, you know, once again, a uh, yet undisclosed location. Tate. Hey. 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 Here we are again, Brian. True. Connecting digitally on the internet. Yeah, yep, that's true, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm looking like the song quit playing. So, like, it just quit. I didn't stop it. Ugh. It's going to be a hell of a night. Ugh. Hey, it's shit show Thanksgiving Thursday or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. Or Tuesday. <laughs> this is going to be awful. <laughs> by awful, you mean gross. Oh, no, I'm by awful, I mean awful. <laughs> oh, well. Does it deserve one of these? Oh my god, man. <laughs> the old sad trombone strikes yeah, again. It sure is. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, if anyone's wondering, we're not using Skype right now. We're using a Google Hangout because technical difficulties. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not that this is any better, but. It's something. It's something, all right. <laughs> God. Now, now Tony can justify his own terrible jokes. <laughs> Wait, that wasn't me. Oh, oh. We're teaming up here. Oh, all right. But just for that, Tate. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh man, it's gonna be really bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you're gonna. This is gonna be an interesting show. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. It'll be something. <laughs> always is. Mm. It always is. That's true. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> anyway, so half of that song was "Democracy in Kind" by State Radio. Mm-hmm. That's a really good song. So. Was the other, is the, the other half just the other half's just as good then? Well, I don't know. It's not observed yet, so it's in a quantum state. Oh, fair enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think I have a sound effect for that. So. Sure you do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, the gone, it's the gone of knowledge. Wow. <laughs> right know, or something. I didn't know that gong signified knowledge, Tony. <laughs> Well, you know now. Ah, I see yeah. what you Boom. There. Knowledge. <laughs> oh, God. 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> There's the sound clip we need now. Boom knowledge. It's be a good one. As long we... as the gone's in the background, too, of that. Well, of course. Tony, sit right. closer to your mic. Do what happened? I say you can't lean you can't lean back. Then I'll bring it closer, Brian. Even better. <laughs> <laughs> There's no sexy time in these sound effects. I'm disappointed. That's true. Maybe just hold it. Like, you know, how's that? It's all the way over here. Looks natural. Yeah. Doesn't it? Mm. It has to be real comfortable for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> all you had to do is just move the mic a little closer to you. You didn't. Yeah, the way my shit's set up, it's not going to work out real oh, well. Oh, Jesus, whatever. I don't know. I need a headset like the lovely and talented Tate. Quit well, trying to be like should. Tate. Yeah. It's not worth it. Could just go to Best Buy and get one. <laughs> what? That's crazy talk. Mm-hmm. I know. It's weird. Mm-hmm. All right. okay. or, or just tape the microphone to your face. There's always that option. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I do have plenty of duct tape. Oh, I'm sure you do. Mm-hmm. Core foam soaked rags. <laughs> I didn't know you still use those. I thought you went uh, the Dexter route. I'm a classic guy, Brian. Classic. Mm, fair enough. You know, old school even. I guess. It's more struggling that way, though. Yeah, but you know, what are you going to do? More fun. All right. I guess. So, Tate, it's been a while since uh, you've had been on the show, since you had the AIDS as well. Mm, yeah. What did we miss? Um, not much. Went out with some friends the weekend before I got the Tony Co. Winter AIDS. <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> the seasonal brew. Yeah. Well, it, it just comes back is all it is. Right. Yeah. Cyclical, it's fine. Right. It goes into remission I for the rest of the year. Right. Well, sort of. Sort of. Because you know I get it for yeah, like true. six months in a row. Okay, for most people, for most people, it goes into remission for most of the year. For Tate, it's like a week and a half, and then it comes back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> strong mm-hmm. yeah. i think we get i think she may have been given too strong of a dosage since she's so little yeah maybe yeah <laughs> or something i don't know yeah but um i don't know went out um normal stuff you know got super drunk and, no, um, say it ain't so. There was a big rainstorm. Oh my god, this was so weird. There was this big rainstorm. So we're running through the parking lot trying to get a cab. And I have like my sweater covering my head. And then there's this big puddle. And I was like, I don't want to walk through the puddle. And so Ryan's like, scoop. And like, <laughs> scoop me up. And like, stomp through the puddle. And then we got in this cab. And he splashed through the puddle. And there was a hole in the bottom of the cab. And all the water came back up anyway. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Classy cab. Yeah, I was like. There's water coming in. Wow. And he's like, oh, yeah, there's a hole back there. Like, wow. Okay. So you got, like, the Flintstone cab company coming after you. Yeah, no shit. Seriously. <laughs> it was really strange. I was like, I can see the ground passing by. Yeah, that's a pretty cool thing when you're on the road. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, my brother but... used to have a car there were no floorboards in. That was kind of cool. Well, at least this was just a hole. But yeah. still... He's like, did you see how chivalrous I was carrying you over the puddle? And I was like, that's not winning you any points. Stop it. Yeah, bragging about it's not going to make it so chivalrous. Uh, Whatever. Mm. It was still funny, though. It was weird. (laughs) Saw some friends that I haven't seen for, like, six years and then three years wow. before the last six years that was really strange wow i bet wow yeah so oh it was fun though then i got sick and that was not fun and here i am now hmm. now you're stuck with us and that's fun gotcha. boo. there's no boo <laughs> sound effect i'm glad because you'd be using it all <laughs> yeah there really should be a boo yeah she's sort. like look judgment face sound effect well, Maybe. 
there is a there's sad no drama. sound effect that will help that. Wait, what's this drama one? Well, I'll hit it. Oh shit! In a world. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that one's not good enough. I don't like that one. Yeah. It's better silently judging anyway. It's guess. more effective. I guess. Fair enough. <clears throat> Every time of this program. So what we do, Tony, is if she gives a silent judgment, you hit the laughter sound effect. That way, while she's silently judging, everyone else will just hear laughter and will say that's her laughing. Uh, I don't think we're going to fall for it because you just gave it away. I can cut that out. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. Fix it in post. Yeah. Like I always do. Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> sure. You don't know. You don't know what I've edited out. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Stuff. Things. I've edited stuff out of the show before. It's just very Maybe. little. It's usually just gaps of dead air. How do you not mistake it for the entire show? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm just cutting out where I think Tate was judging us. That's all I'm doing. Well, that's the whole show. I know, I know. You don't judge us the whole show. Just about, though. Yeah, I mean... Most of the show. Sometimes you're taking a drink. Yeah. Right. Knowledge. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. This is so bad. (laughs) I like the knowledge gone. Uh, I do too, but <laughs> uh, but Tony, we've openly admitted before that we like things that are you know like we like terrible movies because they make us laugh. So, oh, that's true too. Yeah, I also sure. accept that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <sighs> wow. So. Tony, yeah. it's been forever since I've talked to you. What have you yeah, been up to? Yeah. Well, I've been steer wrestling an iPhone for the past two days. It doesn't want to cooperate. It's mm-hmm. pretty awesome. I like that. Yeah, it's some, all right. <laughs> Everything like to, always uh, is. Exhume Steve Jobs and kick him in his balls. Really. All right. <laughs> you know? I'm not. Let's do that on Thanksgiving. It's a good way to bring in the holiday. Mm-hmm. Oh, we'll do it on Friday. We'll do it on Black Friday since he always liked wearing all black. That's how we'll celebrate. Kicking Steve Jobs in the... I, in I don't the even know what the hell te- will be there now. Yeah. <laughs> the hollow testicle area? The Cossacks. <laughs> Fair enough. No, there's not guys. Maybe the sub all that good there's stuff? There's no sub Cossacks. There should be. There's not, though. Why not? I don't know. It's Ask the like people who basement. made up the anatomy shit. <laughs> Tate, tell him why. What, what would a sub-basement be? It's a basement below the basement. Mm-hmm. Then that would be the basement, right? No, it's a sub-basement. <laughs> 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 <Knowledge>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. Hmm. The knowledge I didn't realize gone. the show was so smart. Yeah. The knowledge, knowledge gone rules. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, the knowledge gong wasn't wouldn't have been rang at all before you joined us, though, Tate. So it's, you know. Fair well, enough. It would have, just ironically. Mm. It's kind of how we're doing it now. Yeah. I guess that's true. Kind of. <laughs> we're hipster gong knowledge people. <laughs> oh, no. Hipster gone now. Wouldn't that be the Chinese? <laughs> yeah, they were doing it before it was cool. But wouldn't that be the Chinese? <laughs> no. What? Didn't you just say that? Yes, I did. <laughs> All right. Someone ring gong. <laughs> N- I don't okay. think we should. No, I didn't deserve a gong ring. <laughs> That's terrible. Hilarious. Very. Okay. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> so tomorrow, I'm driving to Oklahoma City. Well, outside of Oklahoma City, but I will go to Oklahoma City in the evening to watch the Spurs play Oklahoma City in Oklahoma City. Nice. (laughs) You can be rocking Spurs gear. (laughs) Of course. Well, I didn't know because I, you know, I didn't, I didn't know if you like wear your Spurs stuff out or if that's more of an at-home thing. So. No, if I'm going to go to a game, I'm going to wear Spurs. I I don't know. Have I been to a game with you? 
But it's the Spurs. But I'm not going to go to... see them play and not wear Listen, Spurs Because you want to dress up and look hot instead of wear. well, you look hot. To a surprise. basketball game? Yeah. Who am You? Oh, please. Dude, you the wear, like, high heels everywhere. The last game I went to, <laughs> I saw those girls dressed in, like, super tight clothes. And you were like, and they were they that. had, like, floor seats. And they kept getting up and going off and, like, look at my outfit, whatever. Just walking back and forth. I was beyond pissed off. I mean, okay, we were only playing Cleveland, but still, you son it's of a, a game. Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we... Well, yeah, they, it was in San Antonio. They sub they subbed you in in the fourth quarter. They did. Yeah. <laughs> For coaching, when Pop got kicked out, they're like, Tate. <laughs> I was like, okay. Like, yeah. we need someone with judgment face. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Me and Pop got that down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm excited about that. You should be. That should right. be cool. Yeah. Okay, is nice enough to totally spurs out and have them not beat you up. Yeah. Spurs out, huh? <laughs> Definitely. Mm-hmm. They're into that. I don't know if everyone else will, but I am, and I made Ryan do it, too, so Ooh. at least I won't be alone. Poor guy. <laughs> like, he cares. He's going to be like that tourist in New York wearing the I Love New York t-shirt, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Where it's like you can see him a mile away and be like, that is not a New York resident. <laughs> <laughs> No, I've been making it watch more games with me, so I think, I don't know, it's always funny, though, to hear him say stuff or get excited about stuff, because you're like, this doesn't feel natural. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like hanging out with your girlfriend watching football with you, and she's like, go, blue, and you're like, shut up, yeah, you know? Yeah. It's like that. What you need to do is, like, when you make him watch a game with you, and then be like, quit trying so hard. Right. Try hard. Yeah. <laughs> Poser. <laughs> Quit trying to impress me. Right. Okay. No. It's still fun though, so no. it's fine. No. Yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah. Just not like super crazy about it like I am. He still likes it. You so are pretty it's fine. super crazy about it, that's for sure. Yeah. That's just crazy. Uh, she's super, super crazy. crazy. Yeah, super crazy. Much like the yeah. luchador. Uh huh. Yeah, it's fine though. That's the whole reason I planned this whole Thanksgiving trip is because I found out the Spurs were playing Oklahoma City <laughs> in Oklahoma City. <laughs> it's so funny because part of me wants to believe or not believe you, but I can't. I can't. That's the whole. I wanted to stay home for the holiday. I just didn't want to go because it's just a couple days. Who cares? Yeah. Then I looked at the extended schedule and preseason. I was like, Oh, hey, let's go to Oklahoma City. Uh, honey, I got a great idea for a lovely trip. We could go on. We we can spend time with my favorites, and then we can go visit your family. Yeah. Well, both. That's what. Yeah, that's what I said. Right. Like, and that's if you're not arrested for, you know, storming the court. No, no, they have a game on Friday. You have to be nice. To... Oh, okay. I think they're playing Miami, right? Uh, or it... Orlando. I know they're going to Florida. Oh, okay. yeah, you're right. I can't remember which team it is, though. It is Florida something, though. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm really excited about that for tomorrow. So you're saying you're going to Florida on Friday then, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> just away yeah. on well, the... Thanksgiving. Yeah. More, more good trips. Yep. Takes them to stow <laughs> yeah. away on the plane. <laughs> God, hopefully they can make it out. Yeah. The weather's been terrible. Mm-hmm. That'll be fine. All's well, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. So... That's my exciting news. Yeah. And family and thankfulness and what the fuck else. Yeah. <laughs> but Spurs game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, priorities. You know. Well, yeah. Thankful for the Spurs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thankful it's basketball season, y'all. There you go. There you go. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, w- I wish I was doing anything that exciting instead of seeing going to family thing, but meh. Meh? Meh. Family's fine. 
family stuff is fun too, though. There's always lots of booze. Not at mine. Oh, we'll bring some. I might. Make it happen. It's probably going to happen. <laughs> what are you doing, Tony? Oh, uh, we're going to the in laws. We got a. Uh, Barry did my half of family on Sunday for Thanksgiving. That was good times. And, you know, uh, is the audio weird? Everyone's staring at me. No, sorry. I was no. looking at something. No. I was looking at the recording because I didn't no. think it was moving for a minute there. Oh. No. no, you know, it was, it was nice. I showed up at noon and I had a drink in each hand already. It's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, we got hot apple cider. <laughs> Your mom does not sound like that. I know. Well, so that's what I pictured. You know, it took goes in my head. And then, of course, her friend's like, oh, you should put a shot of bourbon in there. What Smart do you say no? Yeah, no. It's... And then I'm drinking that, and Chuck's like, what are you drinking a chaser for? We're drinking clam diggers. So then I had a clam digger. What Even is that? Cool. It's like uh, a Bloody Mary. Ugh. No, thanks. Yeah, no, damn it. Where's no. the boo button when I need one? <laughs> <laughs> it's good. <laughs> I swear. You don't like tomato juice, though. So. Well, okay, then you wouldn't like it at all. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, I swear, even if you hate the main ingredient. Yeah. Hmm. Put enough booze in it, it'll kill the tomato. Yeah, just put like a it splash. It won't, of, though. Just a splash of the tomato in there and just booze. Booze, booze, more booze? I mean, like a giant cup. Come on. What's the point, then? To get drunk. Well, then put a splash of something else in there. No. More vodka. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> of course. Of a course. splash of more vodka. <laughs> Did you see that thing on Reddit? Um, it was a picture of a receipt that was like a Jack Daniels or something on the rocks. And it said, Jack Daniels, $9, rocks, $2. No. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Rocks, I don't know. know. It made me laugh so hard. <laughs> so I was like, you know, some drunk ass is not going to pay attention and pay for this. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I think it's pretty funny myself. Mm -hmm. I like yeah. it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to start paying people f or charging people for ice at my house. <laughs> That's a good idea. Just tell them that you had to chip it off of a glacier yourself or something. Well, I did. I always do. Yeah. Well, yeah, duh. Science. Mm -hmm. Science. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. What the fuck? Hmm. I don't know. <sighs> so what else? Mm -hmm. Um. So Brian, anything happened to you the past two days? <laughs> I'm not on crutches anymore. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'm able to mostly walk around now. Bonus. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. So, oh, I got a question for you, Tate. Okay. So is you're a, a healthier eater or whatever. Egg whites. Views? We've talked about this. I Only, like them. I figured I had them this morning. I, I'm like, we're, I miss the yolk. This is terrible. Why am I eating this? Why do you miss the yolk? Cause it's is it because it's not as thick? I don't know. It was delicious, is all I know. You just yeah, was, want some yellow? Yeah, I don't. Yes, yellow. I had yellow fever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, because I needed the yolk. We were making cheesecakes yesterday because it's that time of year, and I'm crust boy. And I was, and the crust that I make has a, needs an egg yolk, so I had egg whites. I'm like, well, I'll just eat them for breakfast, you know. Mm -hmm. Wasn't a fan. It doesn't taste any different, I don't think. Oh, boy. Totally I mean, it wrong. looks different, and it's not as, like, it's not as thick. That's the thing. See, this I guy can't. noticed the difference. Oh, there's definitely a difference. I won't eat, I can't eat just egg whites. You can't eat them? Like, it's impossible for you to eat them? It, it almost totally makes me weird. sick. That's psychosomatic. That's not so, real. Whatever. What if it is real, though? Yeah. It's not. Because if you eat them with the egg yolks, it's in your head. No, because the I... egg yolk covers the, the taste and consistency of them. It's the same. No, it's not. <laughs> I Don't just, be such uh, a baby and eat it. I wasn't feeling it. And I even scrambled it with, like, mushrooms and onions and stuff. And it's mm -hmm. for me. Mm. 
I just want to see you know, someone else's take on you it. You just wanted the yellow. Just put some mustard in there next time. You're fine. <laughs> no, I understand, like, missing the yolks because um, Ryan said the same thing, too, that it's just, like, watery or something. But doesn't necessarily taste any different when you, I don't know, uh, somebody's trying to break into your house. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's kitchen nonsense. <laughs> I don't know. Things are if you just keep eating it enough, and you won't care anymore. Holy shit! Whoa! <laughs> All right then. <laughs> um, no, I would. Uh, no, it ain't happening again. Bring me my yolks. <laughs> huh. Fine. I hope you have a heart attack. It's fine. My heart's good. We're good for now. For now. For now. <laughs> Only a matter of time. Man. What the? F- <laughs> oh, you! <laughs> Bravo! Thank you. Good. I'll give you that one. <laughs> yeah, that was good. <laughs> that was something. Did you say it was something, Brian? It was something. Yeah. Definitely uh, something. Mm-hmm. I liked it. <laughs> Yeah. Don't ask me though. I'm not a big breakfast person, so. Yeah. yeah I, f- I think we covered that. Before. We definitely did. We yeah. have. Oh, most definitely. Mm-hmm. <sighs> you keep bringing up breakfast. That's all I think about. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. He just really loves waffles. No, I just breakfast food in general. <laughs> I'm not a. I'm more of a savory breakfast guy. I stay away from the sweet stuff in the morning. Oh, so you like sausage and stuff? Well, you Uh, have to ask. Well. Uh, (laughs) Big meat sticks. Of course he loves sausage. Yeah. Exactly. Hello. (laughs) Bring on the meat. (laughs) That's why he has the shirt that says that. (laughs) I should. You probably I mean, shouldn't. <laughs> you're probably right. A wander in the wrong neighborhood. Yep. Well. See, I got nothing else in my notes here. <laughs> Other than breakfast stuff. It's only been a few days. <laughs> Talk about food for yeah. a little bit. I made some fudge. That's awesome. Yeah, it's the only candy that I know how to make. So what kind of fudge? Just chocolatey or peanut buttery? Or what are we doing here? No, it's chocolate with pecans and marshmallows. Oh, like a rocky road. Mm. Nice. nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just make crust. <laughs> <laughs> Every winter I make fudge for um, a couple people, and then I'm, I don't know. I never eat any of it because it's so chocolatey. I can only assume there's a fudge care package coming to Shameless Plug Studios, right? <laughs> Oh, I will send you some. <laughs> Tony's like, there's make sure there's meat. <laughs> make lots of fudge and lots of cookies, and then send them out to people. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. Yeah, and leave none of them here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there's like a dozen for Ryan and Mason. Then out. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> They're like, where did they all go? I'm like, oh, sorry. You know, it's not here where it's supposed to be. You know they don't live here. <laughs> it's fair. They'll just go in the trash anyway, so it's fine. But I like to make them, and I like to make them all pretty and stuff, and then I just like to get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with I don't them. want it's, them. I just yeah. want to make them. It's not like you're throwing right. them in the trash after you make them or something. You know? You're just yeah. like, oh, these look nice. Dump. <laughs> <laughs> Take some pictures yeah. Put them on Facebook well, yeah. no, Or Instagram, Instagram, whatever I don't know, wherever food goes nowadays so you, you gotta Instagram it I don't have an Instagram anymore Well, you take the pictures, send them to Tony And let him Instagram yeah. them oh, it's great oh, okay. yeah. Perfect. Like, hashtag take, the fuck out of them He'll take all the credit for it, too Oh, well, yeah, That's I mean it, Just I put mean, them up there Yeah. <laughs> I mean, of course mm-hmm. like, Look at all the pretties all right. I made all the pretties, Brian? Is yes. that what you're going to say? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what you call them, right? Well, duh. I mean, 
know, it seems more appealing than being like, look at the crust I make, because that seems, I don't know, like you're a well, hobo. I am crust boy. I, that's Ooh, what I'm saying. Dude, I would not say that. That's what anymore. I'm saying. Yeah. It makes it, it makes you sound like you should be homeless or something. Like, well, kind of that's like, not what I was thinking, but... It's kind of like my superhero power. Making crust? Yep. Mm, I don't think we're thinking of the same kind of crust. Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> I hope not, anyways. Because if so, those cheesecakes are not getting consumed by me anytime soon. Oh, they're delicious, Brian. Yeah, I no. put all, all kinds of love in them. <laughs> then I'm definitely no. not eating <laughs> <laughs> Just for you. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> Give him one all to himself. Yeah. <laughs> this one has extra love, uh, Brian. Tony's got like an American Pie moment before he ships him out. <laughs> <Oof>. Duh. <laughs> Secret ingredients. Exactly. Egg whites. Oh, no, it's the egg yolks. Yeah. yeah exactly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Hmm. Eh? No. No? No. No bueno? No bueno. <laughs> Very no bueno. <laughs> we added last week. Huh. Ew. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. Mm-hmm. You betcha. Yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else happened in a few days. I got nothing. Yeah. Yeah. No. All right. That's been exciting. It has been exciting. <laughs> what, three days since we recorded last? Yes. Tate was supposed to have more stuff for us here. I know. Oh, I thought I was going to pull up a piece of rug gear, get all comfy and listen to stories. I mean, I can tell you about my dinner conversation if you want, but it wasn't. it wouldn't be interesting to you guys. You don't oh, know do tell. Ooh, is it dirt? <laughs> well, sort of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know we. It's only scandalous them. if you know the people, though. No, it's not. We can just pretend we know them. Tony and I will make up shit to go along with it. So. We're pretty good at that. Mm. That's true. You are. Mm-hmm. Most excellent. <laughs> Most I excellent. Have, most I did excellent. have an older lady uh, at our early Thanksgiving as a friend of the family creepily rub my back more in a more than friendly manner. Nice. How yeah. is it more than friendly? Like, did she creep down to your Cossack? top of the butt area? No, no just, <laughs> not that far. <laughs> yeah, that'd be that'd be weird. <laughs> you think? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just lots of lots of back rubbing, and then like the fingers digging in a little, and. More than I was, yeah, you know, I was just like, huh. You're like, I need another maybe, drink. And maybe you just, just felt tense to her. Yeah. I, I don't know. Or maybe she maybe listens to the know. show and th- thought you had enough to drink. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> she was know. waiting for the voice to come out. Yeah. I was kind of just like, ah, truth keep her hands. Stop it. You were more like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> That was a little. Oh it's like one more clam digger, please. <laughs> well, oh, I'll take two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if he had had another one, he would have became a clam digger. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh. it, it was a little weird. It's a little weird. Really? Doesn't seem yeah. like it would mm-hmm. be. <laughs> Believe it or not. Hmm. Hmm. Something weirded you out. Hmm. It, it happens from time to time. It's just because he didn't have enough to drink, that's all. It just has to be a 95-year-old lady, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Methuselah oh. rubbing her hands all over me. <laughs> <laughs> like something walking look dead. look in her eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like that. <laughs> Yeah, it was, uh... So naturally you just stabbed her in the face, right? I just kind of, like, <laughs> huh. I was creeped away, you know? Cri- crip walk out of there. It was weird. Crip walked? What? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that would have been much more entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh... I don't know. 
don't know what to make of it. I'm still I'm still confused a little bit. Mm. So naturally, you got her uh, you got her info right. Well, of course, her nice. digits. Yeah. Her Pony Express box. <laughs> <laughs> Like, See, you can't you say telegram. stuff like Pony Express box because then it just ugh, <laughs> just leads to bad other thoughts, Tony. I'll send you a message by why. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> I think you're keen. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> keen. <laughs> you're the bee's knees, sweetheart. Stop. Meh. Stop. Meh. Meh. <laughs> Should go get ourselves a soda. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After I'm done panning for gold, stop. <laughs> panning for gold, nothing. <laughs> She's on the front of the stagecoach. She's not panning for gold. <laughs> oh, she's a nice lady, and I'm beating the shit out of her. <laughs> well, that's what she was hoping for. Well, you're probably right. Yeah. Little young wow. loving, right? Mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that makes Thanksgiving a little extra awkward. <laughs> yeah. Well, what good Only is for you, though. Yeah. Well, that's true. Kind of wish I could have been there so I could have, you know, just fallen over laughing at it. Well, that's just the thing is I don't know if she's always touchy feely like that or if I was a special case. <laughs> Let's go with special case because that makes it even better. It does. Yeah. <laughs> Naturally. Mm -hmm. Like, this is the first time, you know, the first time that she's, you know, ventured off to give somebody a random back rub and Tony shot her down. <laughs> like, that move always works. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. If you had been sitting, she would have probably used the old eh, stretching, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> nice. Yeah. This is long as she doesn't go for the popcorn trick, because that's just weird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's more butter at the bottom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so. Just feels like dried chip beef. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Too far. So, someone had to say it. <laughs> Did they? Yes, definitely. Right, fair enough. Oh, well, so yeah. Yeah. you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I hope people are listening to this right before they eat on Thanksgiving. No, yeah, no. hopefully they're having dried chip beef for breakfast. <laughs> oh, dude, <laughs> God, if they are, that's the worst Thanksgiving ever. Yeah, well, it's the worst day ever. It's pretty bad. Well, no, one, well, no one donates, so all of our listeners are obviously poor. So. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sad. Oh, this is almost like turkey. <laughs> almost. <laughs> so they just had beef jerky and they just poured gravy over it. Just put gravy on it. Yeah. Ugh. Nah, beef jerky is too expensive if you're poor. It's true. Beef jerky. Yeah. There is. There that is, is also true. That is delicious, though. No. It's all right. It's not. I've had it. It's me. Yeah. Yeah. I'll side with you on that. This All one right. turkey thing is not as good. Dang. And I tried the bacon jerky. Mm -hmm. Gross. Ugh. It was awful. Yeah, it's Mason tore it up. I thought it was disgusting. It tasted like a bag of fat. I, I seem to think we reviewed that fairly high. <laughs> you did. You I, said it was good. I, but. Think, I think that the main... I'm pretty sure that I said that the one thing I didn't like about it was that it was too chewy. I don't know. I know. It was it. just disgusting. It tasted like, I don't know, like non-crispy bacon, which I don't like. Right. That's, uh, that was my point. Gotta have it crispy. Yeah. Yeah. It was gross. He ate the whole bag, though, so I'm assuming normal people think it's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a special case, I guess. Yeah. Ah, you, welcome to the club. That means you, you'd get creepy back rubs from uh, what's her face too. Yep. Hey, hey, hey. girl. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Bony fingers and stuff. Right. Yeah. Maybe she'll crack her back. Hey. 
brother-in-law won't be there this year, so. Oh. What are you going to do for Christmas, a though? For <laughs> Christmas. I was texting with him this evening. He's like, I'm going to wear the Santa suit. Up. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> Got it all squared away, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> gross. Ugh. Well, it's disgusting. Could be worse. It's a holiday. It's a perfect time for It could be way worse, touching. but still. Ew. <laughs> touching. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I like my space. <laughs> well, we know that. You're always talking about it. <laughs> Ouch. Wow. No. The old MySpace. No. Nah, it doesn't deserve a cricket. <laughs> it didn't deserve a cricket at all. Jeez. <laughs> I wasn't talking about like, personal space. I was talking about space, like, you know, we're stars. I know what you were talking I'm about. I'm explaining to who I did cricketed it. I hate you so much. Cricketed. I hope someone creepy does give you a back popping or whatever. Ooh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to send like, I'm going to find someone who will like just show up like a, you know, a singing telegram kind of thing. <laughs> It'll just show up to pop your back. <laughs> Gross. Oh, so worth it. So they got to sing to you first. <laughs> no, I don't want any songs no. or back cracking. No, I'll have them sing something that's one of your favorites, you know, to put you in the mood and then back crack. What about a back cracking and a sexy dance? What kind of sexy dance? I don't know. The Whatever hustle. kind of family does to each other. The hustle. They break they break the wishbone and get down. Start twerking <laughs> in the kitchen. Feet <laughs> right. oh up on the wall, fam. <laughs> Do this. <laughs> twerking contest. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, I would definitely lose if that were the case. Oh, if you're doing the dishes, loser does the dishes. Mm -hmm. I always help do the dishes, so so what? Oh, all right, fair enough. Don't you have to have like a big butt to do the twerking thing? I I don't know. I like to do it properly. Oh, it's probably, probably to do it properly. <laughs> I mean, if you want a black belt in twerking, you probably need a big ass. Yeah. Yeah, then I lose. You no. could, you could get the other girls ass. have the good booties, not me. That's fine. I just think you need an ass in general, though. Yeah, well, I, mean, I lose again. The land of no ass. <laughs> Where's the oh. sad trombone? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Slacker. <laughs> 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 oh, sound effects. Yeah. What would you do about you? What have we been doing without them? <laughs> it's true. Yeah. <laughs> kind of is. <sighs> All right, then. So. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys want to do the uh, break thing and then do some stories and talk more about twerking? I definitely want to talk more about twerking. Yeah. We could talk about twerking. I wouldn't think you'd want to, Tate. I mean, you're over there, like, determining that, you know, it takes ass, and then you're saying that you don't ha really have an ass, so you wouldn't... Is that just your dream? You know, it's like the kid that's yeah. too small to, you know, be a baseball pitcher or something. Yeah, I'm like the five foot nine dude that wants to be a power forward. Yeah, yeah. So like as a young child, do you just like stuff towels in your pants? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Whoa. so because you want it. You want it to like shake. Towels aren't going to give you the right effect. You have to put oh, more like water jello balloons? or something. What? Water balloons. Water balloons. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I don't know. There you go. Get you need buoyancy. <laughs> you, you need to do that. Yeah, just put a bunch of water balloons in some pants and just. <laughs> some <laughs> yoga pants. Got it. Till they pop. <laughs> Oh. Then you're like, well, then that means you twerked hard enough. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. I've seen some people on the interwebs do it very hard. Yeah, yeah. It's like well, those are the black. Those off. are the twerking black belts. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. How am I gonna make it? 
to that level. You it's can not do happening. it. You can do it. You need, you need your own Mr. Miyagi. Can you buy your way in? Probably not. That I can do. <laughs> it's not Scientology. It's twerking. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, then it's, I'm out. It's much more credible. I mean, little known fact. <laughs> <Right. laughs> the Indians and the Pilgrims twerked on the first Thanksgiving. Obviously. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the Indians Indian. lost all the land, though. <clears throat> they weren't as good at twerking as the Euros were. That's true. Yep. You've never seen anyone twerk until they've twerked in uh, buckle shoes. That's right. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. Well, there's another secret for you. Take. You have to go get some buckle shoes. Apparently, it's true. Unless you, fact. Unless you it's have like a, some. It's like a secret technique. <laughs> yeah, they only teach you that when you get to like brown belt level. Yes. <laughs> I can't hear Tate. I don't she's think talking. she said anything. <laughs> no, she's talking. Oh. <laughs> it's just the AIDS. The AIDS is killing her. It is. It is. It's a shame, too, because... I'm sorry. <coughs> I can't. <laughs> so what were you saying in all of that? Because I saw you talking. Something about buckles, too. <laughs> but it really doesn't matter, because then I died for a minute. Back yeah, I noticed. I noticed. Yeah. Well, we're glad you're back. <laughs> you're glad you're back. Unless it's like a well, Walking Dead comeback, AIDS. then maybe not. Oh, bleeding eyes and shit. Shh, Tony hasn't watched it yet. Well, that's his fault. <laughs> it's true. It is my fault. It's been a really long time. <laughs> I know. You need to catch up. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> yeah, no, like was, after the fact. Yeah, spoilers three minutes afterwards. <laughs> I didn't really give away anything. Oh, you did. So much. But I will. So much. If we don't think of anything to talk about when we go back, I'll just talk about Walking Dead. And twerking. Spoilers. The Walking Dead zombies twerking. That oh, totally sure. happens in Walking Dead this season. Mm -hmm. So, twerking zombies. spoilers. Twerking zombies, yeah. It's yeah, the new screen. They're really slutty this season. It's terrible. <laughs> Oh, perfect! Even better. <laughs> they go in. They go for a run. They go into like a pharmacy or something. There's just a line of the zombies, and they're all just twerking. They just start twerking. Just ass meat just falls off. Oh god! Yes, that's exactly what's going on. Yuck! <laughs> Don't let them twerk on you. You'll get infected. <laughs> oh god! All right. Well, uh, yeah. Let's let's do the break thing, and then. All right, we'll come back and talk about more twerking zombies. Perfect. Sexy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, enjoy your break. We'll be back. You're listening to the Clutch and Wiggle Entertainment Radio Network on CWERadio.com. Home to such shows as Aristocrats Radio, broadcasting under the influence, the courtesy flush, the Clutch and Wiggle Experience, and my own show, The Radio Ghost. Clutch and Wiggle Entertainment Radio. Uncensored internet talk radio. Sports, sex, political and entertainment news. Because what else would an immature adult want to listen to? I'm Tommy Young. I'm Jumpy McCarlson. And we're getting the character. Yes. We're a podcast. We are. We're on the Pod Gods Network. We're on that, too. Podgodsnetwork.com. Pod Gods Network. That's a website, yep. Yeah. Where can you follow us on Twitter, Chubby? Uh, at GIC Podcast. Yeah. Where can you follow you on Twitter? At Chubby McCarlson. Where can they follow me on Twitter? At Thomas Gunn. Wow, this is amazing. 
At Murder Party One. <laughs> That's our band. We're in a band also. That's just another way to get a hold of us. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're not trying to, like, get Twitter popular or nothing. <laughs> not at all. But you know what? You can also go to our blog at gicpodcast.blogspot.com. Subscribe to us on iTunes, and you can follow us on Stitcher, your mobile app. So really, all I have to do is type in some shit and fucking find us. Why would I ever want to do that? Because we're fucking hilarious. We say funny things. We swear a lot. And we swear a lot. We're not safe for your work. We're also into stuff. 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 Lots of stuff. Lots of good stuff. If you like stuff like we like stuff. We all like stuff. And maybe you should listen to Get Into Character. And maybe you should get into character yourself. Yeah, by, you know... Getting into some stuff. Getting into stuff and character. Yeah, stuff and character. That sounded like a sex move. Also, the Bod Gods Network. Uh, dot com. Having sex in the butt. <laughs> right, bye bye. Special shout out to them. <laughs> you know, I do it for trillion dollars, guys. Uh, buy a lot what? of back ropes from them old B edges. Besides that, I would go to assaultlevers.com and click on the Amazon portal. Shop my ass off. Strong idea. Now, what if you didn't have an ass to begin with? Ooh, I would definitely not twerk. You might be able to buy an ass on Amazon. I've never checked. <laughs> a false ass? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Workout video to build an ass. Hey, oh, was a Brazilian butt lift or whatever? Yeah, naturally. Something. And make that yeah. ass pop, yo. Yeah, that's not what I was thinking about, right? <laughs> 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 that too. You're generally not supposed to buy those videos to just sit and, you know, gawk at, Tony. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. No. I use was classy background noise. <laughs> classy? Like, what are you gonna? Well, uh, never mind. I don't want to know what you'd be doing during that. <laughs> Co- cocktail party, of course. Uh huh. <laughs> Naturally. That's fair. I can only hope that sometime I come over to your house for a, you know, like the mustache bash or whatever we were talking about, manuary or whatever. Man- manuary, yes. That. Uh, <laughs> That you're going to just have the Brazilian butt lift thing playing in the background. Uh, If I had an ass dude party, definitely. Hmm. Hmm. (laughs) I don't know what that would be exactly. I know. Hmm. Is it because you don't think you have an ass and you think we'll not invite you? I won't be invited. You'll get invited. You can wear a false ass. No one will know. Everyone will know. (laughs) (laughs) Only because you'll keep telling everyone. (laughs) Because they will. Yeah, it will look weird, and I'll tell everybody. (laughs) It'll look weird. It's all, like, disproportionate. No. (laughs) (laughs) It's like a Nicki Minaj (laughs) ass. It's not going to fit right. That would be hilarious to just walk in like that and just not say anything, though. (laughs) <laughs> what's up bitches yeah don't be jealous while you're like you I know, know. <laughs> I know <laughs> <laughs> awkward 
awkwardly sitting in chairs and almost like falling out because you're not used to it. Right, you know? right. Oh, my God. That would be the weirdest part, right? I'd yeah. have to stand all night. Yeah, there you go. You wouldn't have to. You could lean. On my butt? <laughs> like, yes, I could use yes. that as a chair? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It'd be like on sit, the wall? It'd be like sitting yeah, exactly. on a beanbag. No big deal. <laughs> cool. Mm-hmm. I'll do that then. Right. <laughs> No. Oh, come on. It'd be fun. A little bit? It would be fun. <laughs> I'll wear it for a little bit, and then I'll have to take it off, though, because I would feel so weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. That'd be the best part, is if you were around people that didn't really know you that well, you walk in like that, and then, like, half an hour later, just, like, get rid of it and don't say anything about it then. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> just like test how drunk people are yeah. if they would say something or not yeah or better yet you could do it the opposite way as people get more and more drunk then put the ass on and see who remembers <laughs> <laughs> yes an experiment like i swear your ass was huge last night Be like who says that my god you are so rude yeah <laughs> you just make people feel like a total <laughs> yeah like, i try really hard to keep my my Weighed down, and that's just mean. <laughs> You're saying I'm fat? <laughs> yeah. You just pull that whole girl thing. <laughs> uh, yes. All right. Well, for low, the for low, low cost. Of- <laughs> <laughs> knowledge. <laughs> Boom, knowledge. Uh, for the low cost of thirteen twenty five, you can get a fake plastic buttock <laughs> from oh, Amazon. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I was like, one? There's only one left in stock. <laughs> Well, I would assume one, it's a one cheek. Well, no, it's it's a it's a set. It's not a very good looking set. But well, it's a set. Then it's not. It wouldn't be a buttock then. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. There also is a foam butt accessory. That's. <laughs> Wait, does it say accessory or accessory? It really should say accessory. <laughs> yeah, oh, it should. They dropped the ball there. Yeah. Yeah, they certainly did. Jerks. <laughs> they clearly don't have a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and they're clearly not 13-year-old boys. <laughs> right. <laughs> they're clearly not podmasters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. mm. so, so, yeah, saltillusion.com, Amazon banner. Buy up these foam butt accessories. <laughs> Better hurry on the one. Better. Yeah. Some left. Tate might get it before you. Yeah, for, for I might the, be clicking on it right now. You don't know. Mm-hmm. For the ass party. I don't even know what it would be called. I don't have a good name for it. It would just be called ass party. That's all. Oh, perfect. That is a good name, then. Yep, we'll just use Helvet- Helvetica font on everything so it's real plain. and <laughs> Just ass party, that's all. Sure you don't want to use Comic Sans? Oh, I'm sure. It's very professional. I'm sure. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Anyway, so that song that we came back to was One Trillion Dollars, obviously. Of course it was. Everybody knows that. Mm-hmm. By Anti-Flag. Right on. Mm-hmm. couple politically charged songs. Notice. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Are these uh, straight from the tape picks, or are these actually picked yes. by somebody? No, I picked them. It was a, either politically charged songs or articles, so I went songs. Uh, I think we enough. wanted to have some debates tonight. Are you trying to say we would disagree with your opinions on things? Don't you always? Mm. If anything, to play devil's advocate. Okay, well, sometimes. Uh huh. A little bit. Always. A little bit. It, it is kind of fun sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of shit going on right now. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I don't know if it's a good idea to talk about it, though. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> yeah, because as of late, our only political talk on this show has been about Rob Ford. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty oh, good, man, though. He's so awesome, though. Yeah. He is my hero. I wish he would do more things so we could talk about him more. Yeah. yeah he's kind of been quiet lately. That's probably... Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, probably not entirely his so choice. Someone probably gave him like some barbiturates or something to calm his ass yeah. down. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they're like issuing all statements. You know, are uh, everything's going through the press secretary or whatever now? Like, well, how did how did that not happen a long time ago? Like, 
How is he still doing public speaking things? <laughs> because he's so great at it. Because <laughs> the, right? the media just hangs out and waits. Well, he's the one that went to the school that was like this fucking whatever in front of those kids. Yeah. Did you see that? Yes. That was awesome. Yeah. It's like, oh, I guess I shouldn't have said fucking front of the kids <laughs> yeah. or something like that. <laughs> like, oh, Rob, oh, you're so silly. Him. Yeah. He's the greatest. Yeah. Massive fan of that man. Yeah. Although I don't know if I'd want to be my mayor. Yeah, I probably would. I would. Fuck for yeah. entertainment's sakes. <laughs> It's not as if he's doing a terrible job, you know? That's true. Well, I wouldn't think so because people want to keep him in office. So, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Our, what was that guy, that congressman that just got busted with the the Coke thing that wanted to keep test, drug testing people oh, on yeah. welfare or um, food stamps or something? Yep. He just stepped down, though. Yeah. That well, always happens. Like, our guys are just like, okay, yeah. and step down. <laughs> they never, you like, got me. Yep. bust out <laughs> in all their glory. <laughs> I know. It's just like... None of them are like, yeah, so? <laughs> so. <laughs> Except for Anthony Weiner. Right. I mean, he made a big spectacle. Well, yeah. a medium spectacle <laughs> of himself. Right, right. <laughs> it was no Rob Ford spectacle. Let's be fair. Yeah. Well, Rob Ford's a bigger spectacle to begin with, so... Well, that's, that's true. true. Look at the size of that, man. Yeah. Jeez, Coke and cake, yeah. that's his favorite things. Mm-hmm. He's definitely, <laughs> More so cake. He's definitely yeah. on the Chris Farley diet. I mean, that's pretty much what Farley liked. Yeah. yeah he pushes, pushes his drugs, drug consumption down and ups the food, you know? Right. You know, it's funny because there's been all that how talk that about... How is a thing? Uh, what? Like, how do you do so many amphetamines and, like, not slim down? I don't like, get that. Well, he stops doing amphetamines and starts doing, you know... Baseline's cake. Or, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. Just shoot the okay. <laughs> Pure on cut cake. <laughs> you just cooking sugar in a spoon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shooting it up. Mm-hmm. That's savage. <laughs> uh, it's actually, he doesn't do like no crystal limits. meth or anything. It's just like uh, rock candy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's get a little crazy with these drugs. I better, I better eat yeah. a lot. All the food. <laughs> all the food. All the food. Everything. All the trans fats. All of them, yes. It's like, what? New York's trying to ban trans fats? Send them up here. <laughs> did you see that thing on, I guess it was The Daily Show, where they were like, did Charlie Sheen say it or did Rob Ford say it? <laughs> That's awesome. No, I didn't see that. Because this guy was like, oh, I'd still vote for him or something. And the girl's like, okay, let's play this game. <laughs> he got like one, right? <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, would you still vote for him now? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. That's, that's phenomenal. He's like, he's got tiger blood too. All right. Come mm. on. Charlie, she bounced back. He has a new show, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's pretty I, much two and a half men, though, isn't it? I That's, haven't watched it. I don't know. Yeah, it's like I've I seen no a preview. Idea. It looks the same. Well, he always, almost always plays himself in roles anyway. So what it's, else can he do? He can't remember anything No, else. right? Um, yeah, you're right. Exactly. He's got nothing. Mm-hmm. He's like... Uh, but he's still doing something. That's what's <laughs> amazing yeah. to me. Yep. He's like Vince people Vaughn. People still want him to do something. Vince Vaughn always plays Vince Vaughn, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I miss like hot Vince Vaughn, like swingers Vince Vaughn. Yeah, I don't think that's ever coming back. Maybe he'll get cast as Batman Vince after Vaughn. Affleck, and then he'll have to bulk up for it. <laughs> yeah. oh. No, Vince Vaughn is Batman. Hey, everyone said. Let I me mean, just change the name with. You might as well just kill off Batman. Then yeah. <laughs> he'll be like side drag donut shop. <laughs> <laughs> like fuck Gotham, double glazed. <laughs> Was he hanging out with Rob Ford now? Apparently, it's instead of Commissioner Gordon, it's that's Rob Robin, Robin Ford and Vince <laughs> Batman. Oh no! Let me try one of these new cronuts. That's all the rage you hear about. <laughs> oh man, what's that? A donut burger? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, but we should be doing that in the Batman voice. Brian was wrong with us. Sorry. 
I want to see Rob Ford go and host Saturday Night Live and do a bunch of Farley skits. That would, that would be, be perfect. Good. Instead of the whole, how everyone's like, you know, Farley would be great playing him. We'll just flip it and just let him play Farley in all the skits. I would like to see that. Have yes. him set up the super fans. Yes. <laughs> He's got to do uh, speaking. Matt Foley, yeah. Yeah, Chip and Dale's dancer. Obviously. Oh, God. Well, well, <laughs> well yeah, we'll, we'll just do hologram Patrick Swayze. Well, yeah. You can. They already have it recorded, so. Yeah, exactly. Tupac that shit. That's right. So Hell, we'll throw what? Tupac in there, too. Why not? <laughs> Why not? They'll just be doing all eyes on me Some in the two background. Some cut dudes and Rob Ford. Yeah. That's fair. I like this idea. Yeah. It's a fine idea. Tony, make this happen. I'm on it, Brian. Mm. Get on the Tony Call Co phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gets on his Sesame Street phone. And, like, stupid. <laughs> well, he can't use the phone, though, because Jeannie's, like, doing all her business. It's true. It's true. <laughs> yeah, she's making all sorts of weird deals and stuff. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> That's it. Instead of doing the Chippendales thing, though, they're going to be twerking this time instead. Well, it's Even all better. Rage. They'll bring Tate in to coach them. Um, yeah. No? No, you don't think so? I can draw you a diagram. That's the same, right? You just want to draw a diagram. That's all it is. I really do. It's been a long time <laughs> I since know. I know. I know you and your diagram. diagrams. <laughs> Every time someone compares it or put, brings up a situation, she's like, "Can I make a Venn diagram out of this?" Please. No, not Venn diagrams. Those are boring. Like I want to do. A well, I'm drill. just. <laughs> no, I'm just because you, you're just doing it right there. You don't have time Ooh. to do the full, you know, graph and such. Oh, I will make time. I know you will. Like, what's that? The kid needs a bath. Uh, can't you see him working on a graph here? <laughs> <laughs> like, hold on, I'm color coding this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Tate, when's the last time you showered? She's <laughs> <laughs> like Howard Hughes at the end of it. <laughs> oh my god. Just <laughs> <laughs> the jars of pee and I wasn't I think we all kind of gathered that. We didn't have to go into that. <laughs> I you know I gotta elaborate. Come on now. <laughs> okay. Damn it, tell me. Hmm. All right, then. It's like there should have been a sound effect in there. I don't know what, though. Yeah, but we don't have a good one for that. I know. That's what I'm saying. So. Fuck you, Google Plus. Ooh. Tate she said it. She said it. You heard me. She put the gauntlet down. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. <clears throat> so should we do stories? We should. We should. All right, Tate, go first. What? I said Tate, go first. All right, mine is from Popular Science. Yay. Science. Mm -hmm. But it's not physics-y or complicated, so it's fine. So we don't have to pay attention then? Oh. Pay attention as much as you normally do. Maybe a teeny bit more. All right. A little bit? A little bit. <laughs> All scientists are learning to shape our memory. Roadside bombs, childhood abuse, car accidents, they form memories that can shape and damage us for a lifetime. Now, a handful of studies have shown that we're on the verge of erasing and even rewriting memories. The hope that this research will lead to medical treatments, especially for addiction and post-traumatic stress disorder. Well, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Researchers have known for decades that memories are unreliable. They're particularly unadjustable when actively recalled because at the point they're pulled out of some stable molecular state. Last spring, scientists published a study performed at the University of Washington in which adult volunteers completed a survey about their eating and drinking habits before age 16. A week later, they were given a personalized analysis of their answers and stated falsely that they had gotten sick from rum or vodka as a teen. One in five not only did n didn't notice the lie, but also recalled false memories about it and rated that the uh, that the beverage 
as less than desirable as they had before. <clears throat> Hold on one sec. There we go. Studies like these point to possible treatments of mental health problems. Both PTSD and addiction disorders hinge on memories that can trigger problematic behaviors, such as crippling fear caused by loud noises or cravings brought about by the sight of drug paraphernalia. It's all in Rob Ford's head. <laughs> Several studies have found chemical compounds that can be used to subdue or even delete memories in mice and maybe someday people. In June, a report led by Emory University showed that SR8993, a drug that acts on the brain's optinoid receptors, can prevent a fear of memory f from forming. Researchers strapped mice to a wooden board for two hours, a stressful experience that later gave them a heightened sense of fear similar to PTSD, but mice were given SR8993 before or after the stressful incident were less likely to end up this way. Another study identified the drug um, latrunclin, I don't know, A, that can erase memories days later. That is awesome. Sort of. Yeah, that sounds a little creepy. <laughs> sounds a little day rapey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> the researchers trained rodents to consume um, meth in an environment with a distinctive visual, tactile, and scent cue, such as black walls, gridded floors and the scent of vanilla or peppermint. Rodents were injected with that thing, A, two days later and didn't seek out meth when returned to that environment, but others did. LA, we're just going to call it that, is known to mess up scaffolding that supports connection between neurons considering how broadly these two drugs affect the brain. There's a possibility of serious side effects. No. Mm. Messing around in your brain will yeah. fuck you up? Yeah. No. To make more targeted treatments, researchers will ultimately need the to understand how the brain's neurons encode each memory. Last year, Susumi Tonegawa at the Massachusetts, mm -hmm, Massachusetts Institute of Technology reported that individual memories of mice leave telltale molecular signatures in the brain's hippocampus region. In July, his group caused mice to falsely associate an old memory with a new context, essentially creating a false memory. First, they genetically engineered a mouse so that when its hippocampal cells were activated, they could be tagged with a protein that researchers could switch on later. Then when they put the mouse in an unfamiliar cage, the next day they moved it to a strikingly different cage, smelly with black walls. Then, at precisely the same time, they gave it an uncomfortable shock which switched on the tagging protein to briefly activate the cells which had been active in the old cage. When they put the mouse back in the old cage, it froze as if afraid, as if it had a false memory of being shocked there. The idea of scientists manipulating memory does naturally sound a bit creepy, but it also points to possible good treatment for millions of people tormented by real memories, and that's something worth remembering. That's a nice ending. Um, so there was this study that I read about um, almost a year ago, I guess, that was something similar to this. It wasn't this exact like thing where they shot something directly into someone's brain. Well, in this case, it was mice, but it was a test being done on humans, and I can't remember exactly what it was, but... It was this lady that, um, like, her daughter had been killed or something, and so she was really traumatized by it. So she was working with this um, neurologist, and he did something. Like, there's a part in your brain that you can just, like, black out things. Right. And so this is kind of like that, but more... On the medicinal side, this, the other thing that I'm talking about was like just blocking out parts of that memory. Right. Or, I don't know, which is a lot more severe than just right. yeah. some kind of drug that will put up a roadblock or something. <laughs> yeah, I can see where, obviously, the. You know, the best use would be, like, the PTSD people and stuff that, you know, 
or th- then that was basically saying that they could use it to get o- people to get over their fears of things too, right? Essentially, yes. Yeah, like that's the that's the point. Yeah, or that will that's the intended point. Yeah. But obviously, this is so new that you have no idea if any of this stuff is going to come back later yeah, or right. harder or uh, you know dream man. <laughs> that or you'll be in some similar like deja vu type situation and it will all come back crashing down on you and you'll have a mental breakdown you have no idea this stuff messing around in your brain is just crazy i don't know yeah that's one part of science that i don't know it's very very touchy to go around poking around in someone's (laughs) brain yeah i don't know if i'm very comfortable with that so yeah, yeah. I'm just going to, I'd rather <laughs> stay on the physics side <laughs> and study things <laughs> instead of fucking with people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because some of this stuff could be a huge breakthrough, but it's just, it's hard to not look at the potential creepiness of, you know. Fiddle well, isn't that brain. messed up? I mean, they yeah. took that mouse, they messed him up in one area, put him in a similar situation. He's like, oh, my God. Yeah. You know that that's a lot of power to give to some yeah someone yep I don't know Ugh. so that's my science story for the week <laughs> yes science <laughs> 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 well, I told you it was simple yeah yeah there you go Mm-hmm. No dark matter this week, guys. Racist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to talk about it? I will. I have a million articles. <laughs> <laughs> she just has one computer that's all dark matter. <laughs> this is my dark matter laptop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. That's such a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of just having, you know, like binders and stuff like people used to have, Tate just has like a wall with like laptops with different topics in them. So like the hard drives are like full. USBs, like just little sticks yeah. everywhere. Yep. <laughs> I like this idea. Well, you can hang them on the wall like your, Knowledge. your favorite constellations and such, you know. <laughs> Oh, the knowledge gone. What can we? What do we do without you? No. Not How do we knowledge without it? It's very true. <laughs> the best part's going to be, you know, anytime we learn outside of the show or express knowledge, this has to like play in our head, also. It oh, it will. will. Yeah, it certainly will. Yeah. And if you're really committed, you'll go bong or something like that, or a better sound effect than I can make. Well, I'm sure there's a uh, gong apps. So, you know. Nah, so I won't just, go that far. No, it's like you shake your phone or whatever. It's like uh, it's just too much work. <laughs> we'll just do it for the future. Future knowledge gong. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> come all this way, and we can't come up with something better than a gong for the knowledge. Some future, indeed. I hope the future's full of gongs. I'm going to get that thing and implant it in your brain so you forgot you ever said that. (laughs) Yeah, I'm going to have to run the vacuum after all these bombs I'm dropping over here. (laughs) (laughs) Terrible. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. (sighs) Brian? Okay, fine. Sweet. Uh, There it is. Man, 80, fights bear, falls off cliff, and survives. Impressive. Yes. Obviously, that uh, bear wasn't part of the Salty Language Bear Patrol. Wait, I'm going to guess... He wouldn't have made it. Russia. <laughs> Correct. Damn, I'm good. Yep. An octogenarian versus a hungry Russian bear. It was a confrontation that could have ended only one way, and yet Shepard Yusuf al Chagarev was sitting upright in his bed this week and happily munching on the three traditional pies his family had baked in celebration of his survival. The bear approached this guy, 80, in a raspberry field in the southern Russian region of 
Kabardino Balkaria last week. But despite his age, El Chagrirov showered kicks and headbutts on the bear and managed to <laughs> knock it off balance. Headbutts. Love it. The bear, apparently irritated by the feisty shepherd, tossed him off a cliff and sauntered away. <laughs> Uh, said El Chagorov in an interview with local television. He was hospitalized with bruises, bite wounds, and four broken ribs, but was spared a mauling and released within a few days. It's not known whether the bear suffered any lasting injuries. But the bear tossed him off a cliff. Yeah, yeah. I got off easy. Motherfucker well, head butted me. <laughs> I got off easy. It would have killed me if I chickened out, El Chagorov said. Bears attack humans... Only when they are either provoked or hungry, according to Russian experts. Over the autumn, there have been a number of reports of hungry bears approaching villages in the far east of the country after devastating floods destroyed much of their natural food sources. In the region of Yakutia, sure, why not? One town witnessed six bear incursions in a month, and local authorities reported hungry animals breaking into people's houses and emptying the fridges. The bears became such a nuisance that a program was put into place to shoot the scavenging animals. In the most recent case, locals believe the bear was probably only playing with him, Russian media, media said, and thus were not planning to track down the animal. Hmm. It's kind of rough play. Yeah. The 80-year-old's like, I wish he would come back. <laughs> That's right. He's got a score to settle. Yeah. Like, I wish so was he like, a, you know, like a teen bear? It doesn't say... I don't know. Well, aren't those, like, you know, when they're in their adolescent, aren't they kind of feisty? rambunctious? No, the shepherd mm -hmm. was feisty, Tony. That's true. Yeah. Well, he did have those bony fingers and stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the kind Tony likes. He was background. rubbing his back <laughs> a little vigorously. Yeah. <laughs> Got a little too weird to bear, bear just threw him off cliff. Yeah. The bear's like, no means no, and throws him. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. I said enough. <laughs> <laughs> fooling around. I gotta say, gotta give the guy credit for being 80 years old and showering punches, kicks, and headbutts on a bear. Yeah. At least Russian. Yeah, that's true. Probably all vodka up. Wait, <laughs> yeah. hold on. This is Russia. Someone had to have caught this on a dash cam. I don't know. There's, <laughs> there's Mountain nothing cam. <laughs> yeah, out in the <laughs> raspberry field. Everyone has a dash cam in Russia. In the raspberry so field. say, oh, I love that too. Yeah. Utter the greatest. Mm hmm. <laughs> I wish someone had that to be crazy as hell to watch. The guy. I just want to see the guy headbutting the bear. Same here. Like kicks and punches. Yeah, so like, like, how, but that, that's why I'm wondering if this bear was semi small. Because how do you headbutt a bear? They're like eight feet tall. Yeah. Not to mention, why would you headbutt a bear? I don't want to put my face well, in the Well, this closer. guy is like about to die tomorrow yeah, anyway. True. So he's like, eh, blaze of glory. You're right. I get it. Plus, but he was probably. How do you headbutt here. an eight foot tall bear? He's got ups. <clears throat> Maybe. <laughs> He's got a nice jump shot. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. The last thing the bear expected was a jumping headbutt. Well, he's 80 years right? old. The bear was like, ah, hey, he's got no hops. Next thing you know, bam, headbutt. <laughs> it very makes you think of that, uh, remember that Canadian salmon commercial where the guy comes out and punches the bear in the balls and yeah. gets the salmon? <laughs> yes. So this makes me think of. <laughs> I do not know that commercial. Oh, really? Hmm. Ooh. Hmm. It's not a challenge, Tony. Yeah, too oh. late. He's already accepted it. <laughs> you you know me too well, Tate. I know. I was like, ooh, time to search. <laughs> but it's your turn to read, so. Oh, that's true. My story also drops knowledge, bitches. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. <laughs> I would have waited till he was done to see if it truly dropped knowledge. Snail venom inspires powerful pain relief. The gist. Cone snail venom is an inspiring new inspiring a new generation of painkillers. Not like Judas Priest painkiller. Oh. I can't I'm not gonna try to hit it either. I'll shred my throat. Uh, the newest drug is a hundred times more potent than existing pain medications. Also works at much lower doses and without risk of addiction. There you go. Boo. <laughs> Snail venom in a pill could offer offer powerful relief for people who suffer from severe and the chronic pain. <laughs> it may seem an unlikely source of pharmaceutical inspiration, but the chemicals that cause that some snails produce have potent effects on the human human nervous system. This makes them promising sources of a drug. Source gotta keep fucking read, guys. Notice. Sources of drugs that could dull the pains 
of cancer, diabetes, multiple sclerosis, HIV, AIDS, car accidents, and other conditions. So they're saying, you know, because this is a long-ass article, and I'm not going to read the whole thing. The gist is, hey, this snail produces venom that's more potent than morphine, but if no addiction chances at all. Seems like a good step. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Knowledge. I don't know, though. He didn't read the whole article. That's mm-hmm. fine. All right. All right. I gonged it. <laughs> it. It's been gone, Brian. I noticed. <laughs> Double, even. Tate's a little happy with her gong finger over there. <laughs> well. Ooh, gong finger. There's the name of the show. Mm-hmm. Gong finger. Once you do it once, it's easy to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it makes you wonder, though, because with, no, with no potential for addiction, do you think the pharmaceutical companies are going to be all over this or not at all? I don't know. It has to go through a bunch of tests because just because it's not addictive now doesn't mean it's not addi- addictive in the long run. Right. They're just going to release it and say Or it doesn't mean it doesn't mess with your brain or doesn't mess with your nervous system or doesn't mess with this and that, whatever. Yeah. And then it's whoever's going to make the most money out of it. Yes, so. Exactly. It always comes yeah. down to the money. That's why I said they're just going to yeah. release it. And most healthiest, fine. then who will make the most money, Generally. then who can market it best. Mm-hmm. Then we will see if Obamacare will cover it, if you can sign up for Obamacare. It'll be too experimental. Oh, definitely. <laughs> There'll just be a rival pharmaceutical company out there of polo mallets annihilating snails. <laughs> <laughs> but what snail, though? Like, you it's can't a, just go crush a random snail. Well, it's and, a cone like, snail. It's a sea snail. Suck up the disgusting. Yeah, it's, suck it's a up sea the snail. disgusting. So I guess they'd have to be scuba diving with polo mallets. I don't know. Okay, then. Uh, I love your uh, scientific terms there, Tate. Suck up the disgust. Well, I do love disgusting. escargot, though, So, but I've never had any Delicious. Go numb after having them. But those are not sea, sea slugs or whatever. Cone snails. Cone snails. I haven't, I've never seen those. I don't spend a lot of time in the ocean, though. You will now, though. Like, ooh, painkillers. I will not. Yeah. Well, oh, you're right. Numb. You're right. You're too little to be in the ocean. You get sucked away easily. Yeah. Like yeah, a, a, baby, current, bitch. a baby shark comes along and you just ride it out. <laughs> That'd be pretty awesome. Put a little saddle on it. Yeah, of course. Becomes your friend. Yeah. <laughs> a baby sit- shark, whatever. Or a little turtle. Yeah. <laughs> sit on the shark. No, no. You want to befriend a baby shark because it eventually becomes a big shark. Yep. Mm, I don't want to be friends and, with a shark. And then we have a basis of an awesome show. Right. Plus, then we can have okay. the shark on the podcast. Like Tate and Toofy or something. I don't know. Tate and Toofy? <laughs> See, Tony, this is why you're not in charge of naming TV shows. <laughs> <laughs> but I should be. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, that's a great shark name. Toothy? Toothy? Yeah. Mm. Sounds like something a five-year-old would name their shark, though. Yeah. But he's a baby when you get him, so. Uh, right. But Tate would name it something. She what would you name it? Like Sebastian? <laughs> That's a good name. I like it. See? <laughs> Damn it. Maybe. Let's see what you Sebastian. Kind of like it. I don't know. It doesn't. I don't know. It, it doesn't have the catchiness <laughs> for a TV. I don't know. I had a teddy bear named Franklin. Like yeah. And then another Franklin? one. Yes. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look like you're so disappointed in me. I'm, I'm not. Like, not you, Brian. No, I was saying. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. 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 Lots of illegitimate bears, too. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Uh, all right then. All right. Okay, I'm gonna scrap Tate and Toofy then. Yeah. 
<laughs> we throw away these. Oh my God, pirates eat. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it have a pirate thing and a monocle and a cake? Because you're a fancy pirate on your birthday. Why do I have to answer these questions? He's got a good point. How do you get to put stuff on me, but I don't get to put stuff on you? That's a good question. I'm wondering that myself. <laughs> How do you do that? Uh, in case you're wondering, listening audience, if you've never played a Google Plus Hangout, you can just throw shit on people. Like Tate's rocking a monocle right now and a crown because mm -hmm. she's a fancy princess. Mm -hmm. It's still her birthday, apparently. <laughs> uh, I still want to. I still want to see a premise for a TV show. That monocle that everyone... keeps hovering into the middle of her face. Now everyone just keep is playing. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting here. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. It needs more things for us to play with in this program. It probably doesn't, because that's all we would be doing. Boom. I'm hiding in a mosaic. <laughs> It's a terrible look for you, Tony. It is pretty terrible. Mm -hmm. Anyone else got any, some, any more news? It's burr, it's cold on this glacier. <laughs> <laughs> Tate, is your mic still on? I can't. I can't. Can you hear it, Tony? No, I can't okay. hear her either. Is it now? Yes, sir. There she is. Yes. Yeah. Maybe. Oh. There she goes. <laughs> well, she was trying to not be rude. Jeez, dude. I keep having to cough a lot. Ooh, a brick wall. You'll do that. You'll so, do that. So, seriously, folks. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> What's the deal with No, see, it doesn't, it, it doesn't work like that because you can't, like, <laughs> you look like you're my, part of the wall. My shirt blends in. It's yeah, weird. you look like you're some terrible character from, like, Mr. Rogers or something. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, Ricky the Wall. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. T terrible? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Stories? I have I another one that's about T-Rexes. I had one. <laughs> I had one, too. Oh. I, I have one more about a T-Rex, if you want me to read it. Ooh. You like T-Rexes. I T-Rex I want to hear a T-Rex story. All right. It's a little bit old, so it's from the beginning of the month, but... Does T-Rex grew beefier than museum fossil suggests? Big bones belong to adults that have finished growing, smaller bones to juveniles that are still sprouting up. It seems like the safest of assumptions, but it is one that is fraught with peril when applied to dinosaurs. Presenting this week at the Society of Vertebrate Paleontology's meeting in Los Angeles, California, paleontologist Jack Horner of the Museum of the Rockies in Bozeman, Montana, revealed that he cut open the fossilized bones of dinosaurs in the museum's collection and studied the layers of bone within. He found signs in most specimens that the animals were still growing at the time of their death. In fossils labeled as juveniles, the outer bone layers contain canals that, uh, that would once have held blood vessels, as well as large groups of osteocytes, cells that are important for bone formation. But Horner was surprised to find similar signs of growth in adult fossils. Because in most animals that are alive today, the skeleton tends to stop growing once adulthood is reached. The key thing that Horner was looking for was arrested growth. Closely packed bone layers bereft of osteocytes and blood vessels. Such layers are almost always found in skeletons that have finished growing. He did find them in a few fossils, indicating that dinosaur bones had the potential to eventually stop growing but the vast majority of the bones he looked at did not have them. Key among the fossils that he studied was the largest Allosaurus in his collection, an animal of 10 meters in length that was 13 at the time of its death. It's a big one, and it was undeniably still growing, ripping along, really, when it died, said Horner. Ripping along, huh? Ripping along, I guess, yeah. Included in the fossils were six Tyrannosaurus rex specimens, all showing continuing growth. When asked whether any of the bones of the famed species have ever been found to contain layers of arrested growth, 
Horner gives a telling smile and says, I think all the T-Rex specimens found so far were still growing when they died. As to what continued growth looked like, Horner argues that it involved larger rather than longer bones that bulked the dinosaurs up as they got older. Thus, a larger T-Rex would not be much taller or longer, just more massive overall. For years, we've been finding robust and gracile, gracile, I don't know, forms of skeletons that are otherwise very similar, says Kevin Padian, a paleontologist at the University of California, Berkeley, who was not involved with the work. Some have suggested the robust ones were ma males and the gracile ones were females. Uh, others have argued they were different species. Now it looks like they were actually just different ages. Hmm. So there. Dar? Yeah. So they just kept growing away. Mm-hmm. What you want to keep getting older and older? These fucking just massive dinosaurs. Delicious. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> Love dinosaurs, though. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Yep. Yeah. They're pretty sweet. Yeah, they're all right. It's a little annoying, though, how people think that an Allosaurus and a Tyrannosaurus Rex is, is the same dinosaur <laughs> when they look at it. It's not. No. It looks totally different. They do. But they do, though, right? Yeah. You see that all the time. You do, yeah. You just want to smack them across the face. I generally want to do that a lot. Just anyways. because. Yeah. Oh, shit. You want Brian? No, I don't. You didn't get a gong. I'm oh. sorry. <laughs> I see. You just dropped some knowledge on us. So you must have a gong. Adolescent dinosaurs. Yep. Jerks so ringing guess, doorbells that are running away and pushing short into the bushes and stuff. Right. Probably not. Slamming poop on the doorstep and shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. Assholes. <laughs> How did they Assholes. get to it, though, with those tiny arms? Well, it's easy to drop it and run. True. It's true. But to scoop it and put it into a bag, though. It's hard to get it on fire. But... <laughs> 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 yeah, good point. Hmm. So adult dinosaurs or uh, T Rexes could actually say that they were big boned and not fat, correct? That's what this guy's saying. Very true. That's exactly what he's saying. Thought so. That's good to know. Yeah. Now when the bullies come around, because <laughs> that's you know, not what they were bullied for. There were so many bullies for the T Rexes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you read that article about the debate about whether the T Rex was an actual like? Predator or scavenger? Yeah, I've heard a lot of that. Yeah. I, yeah, I've read something, some stuff about it. Because their teeth were like pointed or, or not as pointed or something like that for, I don't know. Yeah. It goes back and forth. All that shit goes back and forth because it's a fucking fossil. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, really, you're really not going to have any definitive answer. They might. So. I don't know. What if they had a time machine? Awesome. Then that's going to have nothing to do with the fossil now, is it? It might. <laughs> How? I don't know. The time it will have machine to do with is the time. fossil. No, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. That'd be one help. You're wrong. Though. Knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> More life there. <laughs> I can use it for that, too. <laughs> She can use it as judgment face, essentially, Tony. This is no yeah, good. No. It's become the judgment gong. <laughs> no. <laughs> kind of. It's the wrong gong. That's what that was. <laughs> but that's wrong. knowledge, too. <laughs> I'm letting you know yeah. you're wrong. Right. <laughs> <laughs> We've unleashed a monster. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, how about this <laughs> That's one? what happens when the thing runs out. <laughs> What? Ooh, I kind of like that one. <laughs> What's that for? For when we announce... announcing someone's arrival? Yes. How about you stay? <laughs> yes, exactly. Hey. Okay. You're not wearing your tiara in yeah, the Yeah, you don't have oh. tiara, so you're, you're out. That's fine. Oh. I had it, though. It counts. I don't want to wear it all the time. I don't want to make people feel weird. Yeah, you do. Knowledge. <laughs> I don't want to make people feel weird. 
That's a lie, though, so. <laughs> no, it's not. Stop it. Brian, you may have to call this episode Knowledge Gong. <laughs> All right, I'm writing it down. <laughs> just saying. Right. Or just knowledge. <laughs> Oh. You know, the more people go to Amazon.com through salty language. Yeah. <laughs> now you're just looking for excuses. <laughs> what are you talking They're about? They're fun. Shh. Not helping. Well, I can't help it. They're very fun. They are. Still. It's true. So, should we talk about the website thing that I brought? Nah. I think that we should. Nah. Tate, you have a special announcement? <laughs> you know, that actually works for, like, website of the week and stuff if we ever use it. It's true. <laughs> you almost made me die with that. And, well, <laughs> hope you're happy. He almost made you die with the initial bout of AIDS, too, so, it's, you know. That's true. Well. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um... So my website is heifer.org, and it is to end hunger and poverty around the world. You can go, I don't know exactly how to say it, like, how do you want me to promote this? Mm, I, I don't know. Well, I explained it to you, and you've done it. Well, yeah, but, you know. Well, we did. Well, we what? If you donate to our site or our donate button, if you do the donate button, all the money, <laughs> yes, <laughs> from now till what? January thirty first. Sure. We'll go to Heifer International, and we'll send it to. Um, there's a little button that says where needed most and we'll just send it there and they'll send it to a family in Africa or India or wherever. It's basically like you're buying food for people and animals for their farms and whatever else. Right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It's usually an animal or, um, like you can send a worker kit an animal health worker kit to take care of the animals. You could send like a colony of bees and Ooh. they'll like, no, 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 like no, no. not killer bees, Tony. <laughs> no, Tang. honey bees oh. and that or fish or a flock of chicks, a flock of geese, yeah. a flock of seagulls, some cheese, milk, um, baskets of stuff. So they start at, um, I think it's twenty dollars. Like you can get a flock of geese for twenty dollars to send to somebody. Let's see here. <laughs> um, you can buy like say you want to buy a cow or say you want to buy a camel. You can only afford a little bit of it. It's a share of the camel is eighty five dollars, and they'll put the money together, get the camel, send it. Well, I'm browsing their animal catalog, and in the goat picture, this kid's rocking a Batman sweatshirt. So nice. Yes, he is. A, a full goat is only $120. That's really not that much money when you what? think about it. Right. $60 rabbits? That seems like a ripoff. Why? Rabbits, plural. Okay, well, let me see how many rabbits we get in here. Oh, it's a trio. Well, all right, 20 bucks a pop. All right, fair enough. Mm -hmm. 20 bucks a hop. Twenty bucks a half. <laughs> and figure all that all that rabbit banging. Yeah. Ooh, they sent three rabbits by the So I'm gonna donate hundred and twenty dollars, which is as much as a goat cost. And pitch in a goat. So that will be my Ooh, a cheese of the world thing. So I give that to me? Ooh. No, you're not needy. Stop it. I'm needy of cheeses of the world. No, you're not. A little bit. Not for almost a thousand dollars. Yeah, you're not. it's true. You're not. I'll share it with somebody. No, sure. You, you can donate a basket of hope. 
and hope they don't turn out like you. <laughs> I, can, I can send bags of disappointment for free. Anyway, there's a lot of lots of other stuff underneath that you can send, like not necessarily food, but like um, just different gifts. Ooh, a knitter basket. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like trees, gardener stuff, harvest things. Clean water. Yeah. Yep. Stoves. Stoves. Irrigation pumps. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, but like with the animals, they get, they breed, they don't get the animal and then like slaughter it and have dinner or something. They use the milk and then they breed the animal and then have another animal and then sell that animal and sell the milk and sell all this stuff. So it's just, it just, helps them industrialize a little bit hmm. you know because like in super poor countries they don't have free public schools to send their kids they have to pay to go to school yeah so it's a lot harder than it is here and you know we have a lot here even That's if you true. think you don't have a lot you have more than they do that is true. you have five dollars more than they do I've uh, got a tuxedo shirt for them. No, you don't. You gave it away. Well, it's in my pile of stuff to give away. Asshole. How do you give away a tuxedo a... shirt, Tony? Just have it Just tailored. Don't... Have it tailored. <laughs> <laughs> it would cost more than it's worth. No, it would be worth it. <laughs> that would be awesome. Oh, please don't, though. Do it. Tony. Walk in and be like, I need this tailored. It's my suit. My fancy suit. <laughs> I'm a 32 now. <laughs> like, uh, sir, this is just a t-shirt. Like, it's my tuxedo. <laughs> no, no, you walk in, you're like, sir, I need, dare this, you. I need this tailor. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> what uh, the hell oh. was that? All right, then. Are you anyway. Familiar? Yes, I am still here. Thank you, Google. Yeah. <laughs> right. You haven't done a sound effect in two minutes. Are <laughs> you still there? <laughs> no. You haven't played a fi- like Fiddled. phantom things that could float on your face. Tony, that's called fiddling, <laughs> remember? Anyway, oh, so yeah. if you guys um, send donations to the donation button, we'll send it to them. And if you don't want to do that and you just want to donate, then go to heifer.org and donate wherever you want to. And if you don't want to do either, you're a terrible person. <laughs> Seriously, I hope you go to hell. <laughs> if there were such a thing. I can't even make it serious. <laughs> but I will seriously judge you if you don't do anything. All right, well, then, if not hell, Gary, Indiana. I hope to go to Gary, Indiana. What? What do you not have against hell, Gary, Gary, Indiana? But what do you have against Gary, Indiana? It's a shithole. All right. It's, all right. Take over for it. Okay. I've, I've been through Gary, Indiana. Hmm. And you tell the tales. Okay, well, I haven't, but... Right. Brian, it's like this. I've been through Gary, Indiana. <laughs> and? <laughs> That's yeah, all I got. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to use the drama button. <laughs> That's appropriate. <laughs> Okay. Anyway. So, yeah. All right. Heifer.org. Yeah. Yeah. Do something nice, goddammit. Yeah, or something. I suppose I should link this on our website. You should. Boom. Bookmarked, bitches. Well, I can't support this first woman of her weird headscarf and odd European face. Why? It's the European face. Is she asking you to have a threesome? Probably. <laughs> Ain't for a story. Yeah. It's her, Tony, and the creepy woman that was rubbing Tony's back. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice. All right. <laughs> then it's definitely happening. Yeah, it's oh, on. Duh, of yeah. course. So right, dark, well, what's it dark for? I watched this video today and I couldn't get it out of my head and I felt like a total asshole. 
fall for <laughs> just being normal American. So yeah. what video would that be? The heifer. Oh, the oh, video. okay. I, I thought we we're segueing to something else. No, no, it's the one where no. it, sh- it shows you know people in bad areas with the Sarah McLaughlin playing in the background. <laughs> no, there wasn't any music. It was just oh, wow, people really? That had been helped by this organization. No. They got um, one kid got a um, water buffalo and the other one got a goat, and it completely like changed their whole circumstance. So nice. I don't know. Always you can go drop $150 on like a pair of jeans and a sweatshirt or something. I I don't know. I'd rather do it for something that made a difference in somebody's life. So. What if it's a I just really comfortable today. sweatshirt? Oh. What was that, Tate? No. I didn't hear what you said. So it really it got just to got to me today. <laughs> I heard Tony's comment about what if it's a really yeah, comfortable switch. I heard it too. Bad Tony, bad. <laughs> Whoa. Anyway, so you guys do whatever you want, but that was just my thoughts today. That's Tate's. Go help somebody and be a decent motherfucker of the week. Yep. Deep moments. <laughs> Deep moments. If that's deep, you guys need some serious fucking help. <laughs> I'm just trying to name your segment. Like everything else, I'm naming it. I don't it. need a segment. <laughs> How about Team Toothy? <laughs> <laughs> don't be a fucking asshole for five minutes. Deep moments with Tate and Sebastian, the shark. Because Toothy like was that a no name go. better than Toothy. Yeah. Oh, uh, fine. I think he's going to end up being a condescending shark if his name's Sebastian, though. It's true. He will be a cunt of a shark. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. Or Maybe. a heavy metal rocker. Maybe. I used to have a cocker spaniel named Sebastian. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. He was an asshole. I gave him away. See? <laughs> And Did you send him to a needy family? And that's what Tate's going to do with, <laughs> with people who don't <laughs> donate to this. Yeah, that's exactly what I'll do with you. Call you an asshole and give you away. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> wah, wah. I'm being mauled by my dog over here. I doubt mauled is the correct word. That's true. <laughs> anyway. So? Yep. Heifer.org. H E I F E R.org. Mm-hmm. I'll make sure I link it. Yeah. Website of the week. Don't be a savage. Or the Go help. next yeah. amount of time. A couple weeks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, I'll put a link for it up in the Twitters, too. The Twitter machine. Yep. All right. And on the face page. Not that anyone will see it. Face page? Yeah. Don't forget the MySpace and the Google Plus. Nah, I'm, I'm done with the MySpace. It's on the decline. Oh, okay. Damn it. <laughs> Unless your music. Right. Then it's upping. Or your Tom. Yeah. I don't know how much Tom cares about so? MySpace anymore. Yeah. I, I imagine. He's got to be doing something. Jacking up Zuckerberg. Hey, it's if it's a job. <laughs> right? <laughs> do what you gotta do. Yeah. No. Exactly. Buy gloves. All right then. All right then. So that, is that the the let's wrap it up? <laughs> kind of feels like it. I don't have any. I mean, unless you guys, anybody has a <laughs> has a uh, shut up and chalk out. Name. But it, feels, it just wouldn't feel right to do a shut up and take my money after this. <laughs> that's, that's like here's something true. decent to do with your money. Now consumerism, hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to go to saltylanguage.com though, and look at all the different links on there. Links and stuff. Uh, links and stuff. Uh, 
you know, check out the episodes that aren't on iTunes anymore. If you haven't already, uh, you can also catch us on CWERadio.com on their random replay, which I forgot to say last week. Uh, you can check us out on PodGodsNetwork.com along with the other 4,826 and a half shows. Um, or you can just click the link that's on the website and that'll show you all the different, or it'll take you to the page. If you'd like to suggest a sh- uh, song for the show, you can send it to saltylanguage at gmail.com and it will be forwarded to uh, Tate for her consideration or judgment. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Both, yeah. She'll give it judgment face. Judgment. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. You can find the show on Twitter at salty <laughs> underscore language dot uh, yeah, dot com. Uh, salty underscore language. You can find me at Tsunami. Uh, I'm at Minani. Matt Hayes underscore T underscore R. So All right. That's the news. I <laughs> am. That's it. I don't think we have anything else, do we? Anything else to nope. plug? I think we are done ski. Yep. All right. So I guess that means have a period will be fine. Stay salty. And go fuck yourselves. <laughs> <laughs>